subscribe to Gizmo Times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon. Recently, Canon had launched two DSLR cameras, one in the budget range and one a bit higher priced. The higher priced one was the Canon 1500D which was priced at Rs 40,000 while this one is the Canon 3000D uh, priced at Rs 32,000 but then right now in the market it's being sold at Rs 24 to 25,000 which is quite a good deal. Otherwise, before we begin the review, I'll let you know that for the specs that are given in this camera, 32 was quite a lot of price that you are going to pay for this because there are a few competitors especially from the Nikon uh, D3000 series, that's the D3300, that's actually a better camera for the price when you compare with this one. But right now, that's this along with the kit lens, that's 1855 lens, is being sold for 24 to 25,000 on both Flipkart and Amazon. So that is a better deal right now. So this is the 3000D and it's quite light and compact as well. And that is thanks to the polycarbonate body that uh, covers the camera. And although that might be an advantage because uh, even if you have the shoulder strap on this and carry it along, it won't be a lot of weight all the time but at the same time this plastic body gives it a lot of cheapish feel as well as look so it can be easily scratched and while you might be using it you'll uh, notice that it's not that premium or uh, any heavy to hold for the major specifications the canon eos 3000d comes with the 18 megapixel cmos sensor that's the aps -C sensor and it comes with the digic 4 plus processor and that processor is the one that would power most of the Canon's uh, basic cameras or the budget cameras. And this comes with an ISO range of 100 to 6400 and that can be expanded to 12800. And one of the major advantages of this camera is the connectivity where it has the Wi-Fi connectivity to connect your smartphone which can control a few functions of the camera. But more importantly, this is for those social media users who wanted to quickly share their pictures on the social media and that is where the Wi-Fi would help because there's, an, there's a social connect app that would help transfer the photos quickly and you can share them. So in budget cameras, there's not a lot of options that would give you the connectivity that's Wi-Fi and the Canon EOS 3000D has that one and that's an advantage here. The EOS 3000D has a 2.7 inch screen uh, to view the pictures and there's also an optical viewfinder but it's not a touch screen and you won't have to expect that in this price range again. One of the disadvantages of this camera is that the mode dial itself has the power on or off button. So while you're trying to switch between the manual or the program mode to the auto mode, you'll always have to switch off the camera because while rotating the dial, it would go to the off mode. So I don't really know whether that would change the performance or that would actually turn off the system run and down again. What would it change? But again, it's annoying because you always would turn off the camera whenever you're trying to switch between these modes. A good thing that though it's anyway expected is that this supports the 14-bit raw image. That's the CR2 support that is given on this camera so that if you are a professional photographer, you can at least get a lot of details from the capture that are preserved here and that you can use them and edit them in any of the professional softwares if you are someone who wanted to do a lot of editing after the capture. And while those were the advantages, uh, a couple of more disadvantages include the focus motor which makes a lot of noise and while that might not be an issue when you are capturing pictures, that has an issue when you are taking videos because when you are trying to focus both auto or manual, autofocus motor does not work here. So if you're doing it even with the manual one, the focus motor makes a lot of noise and that noise gets recorded in your video. And the other issue is with the lens mount. This camera comes with the EFS mount and this mount is a bit again fragile and it can easily get cracked. That's how I can understand about it after using it for some times. It's again plastic, it's not metal. Most of the cameras do have a metal uh, ring here, but this is not a metal ring and uh, it can be prone to scratching or even breakage. And if you are someone who would regularly switch lenses, uh, you might have to take care about it because it can be broken and that is an issue with the Canon EOS uh, 3000D, again with the build quality because most of it is plastic or polycarbonate and that is where the fragility or the brittleness of the camera comes into place. And this camera supports the EFS lenses and this is the 1855 lens that comes along with it and it has the functions for the autofocus or the manual focus and also for the stabilizer whether you want to turn it on or off.
So this was a quick review. Uh, there are a lot of samples that you're checking in this video to, uh, to see how good uh, the camera was. And in most of it, we did try to do it on auto mode because that is what most of the basic users who are the first time DSLR users, they might be buying this camera. And for them, it's the auto mode or the intelligent auto that would do most of the job for them. So we haven't played a lot with the manual settings, but we did take a few manual captures as well to show you the potential of the camera, whether it can do a good ISO performance or low light performance as well. And so this was a quick review. And I hope you like this video. If you have any other questions about this camera, do let me know and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.